Well, it's hosted some of the most notorious trials in WA's history, but today the Supreme Court marked its own milestone, its 150th birthday. To celebrate, the court opened its doors, allowing the people of Perth a behind-the-scenes look at our criminal history. The court opened its doors to the outside world and the outside world poured in with 250 visitors in the first 10 minutes. The most popular attractions, the holding cells. I've always been sentenced. Yeah, the, uh, the vicar gave me a life sentence when I got married in 1966. <laughs> and court two where many murder trials are held. You're guilty. Many of the state's worst criminals have been tried and sentenced within these four walls, some paying the ultimate price for their crimes. Cook, the serial killer, who um, was in the mid-60s uh, tried, convicted, went through the appellate processes and was ultimately hanged. And He was the last person to be hanged. Today, many relished the chance to satisfy their curiosity while staying on the right side of the law. That's what I say to the kids, I don't ever want to see you here again. <laughs> but the information travelled both ways, with officials courting public opinion to help plan for the future. What people's perceptions are as to the sort of outcomes and the sort of process that the court should be delivering for them. I mean, we're servants of the community, it's as simple as that. The public handed down their verdict on Perth's Premier Courthouse, judging it well worth a look. Candace Barnes, Nine News.